Um, just, I just saw in the paper, I didn't realise, um, Zara Tyndall and Mike Tyndall um, broke the news yesterday that they're expecting their third child. So yes. congratulations to them. Um, this story has... This is either going to make people go, oh, isn't that lovely, or make them feel a little bit queasy. Let's see. So, brother and sister incubated a box of quail eggs. And um, so they bought these quail eggs from the supermarket. They had um, a 24-egg um, box. And they, they decided to keep it in a warm place. And they went to the incubator on October the 27th. And, she'd, and Emily, the young girl, had said that she'd seen someone hatch a quail egg in an incubator. She thought it might be a fun project during lockdown. Friday the 13th, so October the 27th they put in, November the 13th, Friday the 13th, um, she heard some cheeping and there was a chick and it just got out of its egg. And then it ended up being that um, the first two chicks were named after the supermarket, Mark and Spencer. Um, the rest were called Cutie Pie, Death Chopper, Death Chopper 2, Elvis, Sophie, Honey, Rocky, Plucky, Chucky and Lucky. So they'd just been bought, the, the, the eggs had just been bought routinely as part of the shop? Yeah, 12. 12 hatched. See, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that makes you feel. I mean, it might make you feel queasy. It might just make you go, oh, isn't that lovely? Well, I hope they're it's all there. OK, is what I'm hoping, maybe. Yes. Um, here's a story about uh, Dusty Springfield. Uh, sadly, we don't have any Dusty Springfield to play for you now because everybody likes Dusty Springfield songs, don't they? But there is a new biopic coming out um, starring uh, Gemma Arterton, who you can see down here. But the little nugget that, that uh, they pulled out of the, the biopic about her is that... Um, Dusty Springfield's star apparently had faded to such a degree in the 1970s that she was in the habit of entering Dusty Springfield impersonation Fabulous. contests and often lost. Such was, the, such was the, the fact that she had so much fallen away from public consciousness that she would actually enter contests to sing her own songs and someone else would win as Aww. being better at being her than her. Wasn't there a video of Adele doing something different to surprise a fan? Do you remember, it was a few years ago, um, Adele turned up to, like, a, an Adele look-alike or um, mimicking Adele, and she turned up and um, all, all dressed up and surprised one of her fans doing that very so same thing. If I show you so this, I think right, she was so fine financially. We we'll Do a compare and contrast. There's Dusty Springfield ho holding her guitar. Yeah. Fantastic hair, by the way, there. It's, yeah. it's epic, isn't it? And then... Uh, to aspire to, Charlie, that hair. Absolutely. Up, 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 all the way. And then we go to this instrument here. Is that a lute? Now, can you, uh, no, it's not. This is uh, Paula Chateauneuf, who's Good playing name. the... You ready for it? The Theorbo. How it's do you the spell that? It's the Theorbo. <laughs> T-H-E-O-R-B-O. Theorbo, which is a 16th century lute. And as you can see, it has an extended uh, bass range and uh, she was playing at a concert. Uh, so that's quite a challenging thing. Not least challenging to take uh, on the tube or on the train if you're travelling. Indeed. You can see you how it's right up there. I always used to feel very sorry when I used to go to music. Um, so I used to feel very sorry for the um, cellists. That's right. Lugging around their cellos. Yeah.